Yeah. Our investigation is looking at everything, so nothing is off the table. A search for motive and deadly shootings at three Atlanta area spas. March 16th, a total of eight innocent lives were and finally taken they uh, by the hands of one lone killer. Investigators say it's too early to know if the attacks were racially motivated, but say the majority of the people killed were Asian women. Four of the women who were killed from Atlanta, where the city has conducted its own investigation of these crimes. We had four Asian females that were killed. And so we are looking at everything to make sure that we uh, no, yeah, yeah. discover yeah. and uh, determine what the motive of yeah. our homicides were. A 21-year-old man is now charged with all eight murders. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, Asian American groups say they're experiencing a rise in incidents of hate and violence. There is increased fear amongst our community, but there's also deep pain and anger. This shooting can help for a local oh, Harvard student. I saw their stories reflected in this in my own relative's eyes, and I wanted to cry. <laughs> it was such a heartbreaking, devastating moment for the Asian American community. He says that addressing the issue of hate against Asian Americans is an issue for the whole country. This is not just an Asian American issue, it is an American issue. Lawmakers in Washington even holding a hearing Thursday to address the rise in violence. I want to make clear that all Asian Americans who are understandably feeling hurt and afraid right now and wondering whether anyone else in America cares. And Congress sees you. Advocates say they welcome the response from leaders around the country, but also say more needs to be done. Now is not that time to be silent. Now is really the time to raise more awareness of what's going on and to demand that things change. And many are calling for the suspect to face eight crime charges, even if investigators find him targeting women against based on their ethnicities, he's still going to be charged with one targeting people based on their gender. Also, a hate crime, and the Georgia's law. And the news of Rachel's